I think I'm concerned about the individual godliness of Christians and their use and their careful use of the private means of grace. Um, I believe that private prayer and the private uh, reading of the scripture are the very conduits of, well, eternal life. What I mean by that is that Jesus said uh, in John 17, 3, uh, this is eternal life that you might know God, the only true God in Jesus Christ whom he has sent. If we are going to have a relationship with God, he has to speak to us in his word, and we have to speak to him in prayer. Without those uh, conduits, those tracks, there is no experiential relationship with God, and there is no eternal life. Uh, so I believe every Christian does have communion with God in prayer and the Word. Um, and I believe that prayer, but I believe that prayer and the Word has to be much more than having devotions. There has to be life. There has to be uh, an actual uh, desire for God and desire to hear from God in our study of the Scriptures and an actual speaking of the heart to God in our prayer.